If you've been looking for a new construction home with a massive piece of land on it, but you've been struggling to find it at an affordable price, today, I'm here to offer you a solution. Let's begin. For anybody new to this channel, my name is Renzo Montiucci and I am a realtor here in the central Florida area. In today's video, we're gonna to be touring this pristine custom farmhouse here in Ocala, Florida, my friends. This home comes with all the different upgrades. This home is in perfect location with a massive piece of land. So just to give you the specs, this home is gonna boast three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,799 square feet. So we could just call it 1,800 square feet, my friends. And it's gonna be coming on a whopping 1.44 acres of land, my friends. We are here in Ocala, and we are very close to all the major things that Ocala is known for. And what is Ocala really known for? This is the horse capital of the world. So we're only 10 minutes away from the World Equestrian Center. For anybody who didn't know, there are only two World Equestrian Centers in the entire world, one in Ohio and one here in the horse capital, Ocala, Florida. Only 15 minutes away from us, we're gonna have I-75, which is the main highway that's gonna be able to take you to all the different metropolitan cities that are nearby. Orlando is only an hour and 15 minutes east. Tampa, Florida is only an hour and 15 minutes south. And Jacksonville is about two and a half hours northeast from this specific home. If you're somebody that enjoys the outdoors, the calm, relaxing lifestyle, Ocala in this specific area is gonna be perfect for you. But if you like also maybe going to a bigger city, going to Universal and Disney, going to the beach, you're gonna have all of that very accessible to you as well. A few other details on what's close by to this home is where you're gonna have all of your shopping, you're gonna have your Lowe's, your Home Depot's, your Publix, your Walmart, only 10 minutes away. One of my favorite things to do here in Ocala is go to Market Street at Heathbrook, which is only 15 minutes away, and it's an outdoor mall. You're gonna have your movie theater in this complex, you're gonna have a nice restaurant, oyster bars, Mexican restaurants, margaritas, Barnes & Noble, Dillard's department store, and much, much more. So this is a really nice experience being able to go to Market Street at Heathbrook. We're only 25 minutes from downtown Ocala where you're gonna have a really relaxed, charming downtown. Downtown Ocala really reminds me of downtown Savannah, just a little bit smaller in scale. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this tour, I'm gonna to be breaking down for you all the finances you need to know on this property, the price, the taxes, there is no HOA and there is no CDD, so you can cross that right off your list. And also, if you were wondering what a down payment would look like, what closing costs look like, and what a team of realtors actually could do to help you get into a property and get a good deal, I'll be talking about that at the end of the tour. And for all of my returning viewers, I'm gonna have a very special message for you guys that we have been sharing. I love all the feedback you guys have been giving, so make sure to keep putting in the comments what you think and I love you all. Now, before we step inside, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna help the algorithm, my friend, so I can keep producing amazing content for you guys, and that is it. So let's go ahead and get started on this tour. Come on. So here we are at the front of the property, my friends. And the very first thing I want you to take note of is you're gonna have this extremely long driveway that's gonna bring you to your motor core and your three car garage. Now front facing this home is facing north. And what I really like about this is you're gonna have a lot of windows facing the north side of the home. Right over here, these windows are gonna be from the garage. So if you're somebody that likes to work 
in the garage, work on your car, work on anything that you have going on, you're gonna have some natural light coming into there as well. Also, you're gonna have a nice small front porch area here at the front of the property. So if you wanna get your nice relaxing rocking chairs, put them out front, have a cup of coffee, have a cup of tea in the morning, this is gonna be perfect. Let's step inside. So stepping into this beautiful home, the first thing I want to mention to you guys is we're going to have these beautiful 10 foot ceilings. You're going to have this nice ceramic subway tiles and this home really just pops out. It has this nice open floor plan feel and here we are. So right here, when we enter into the home, we're going to have this nice dining room space. This is a smaller table that can fit around six people you could definitely get a larger one that can fit eight maybe even ten people you're gonna have a nice window facing the north side of the home that's gonna bring in natural light while you're eating as well stepping into this area of the home we are gonna be greeted into the living room my friend so this is where a perfect place where you're gonna have lay out your rug get your couches get your chairs get comfortable and this is really where the family is gonna be able to spend quality time and relax you can set up your nice TV right over here. And one beautiful thing that the builder did here is they set two separate doors going out into the back lanai. So one over here, one over here. It's just a nice little thing that the builder thought of just giving an extra access point, which to me, I think it's pretty nice. So stepping into this area over here, we're going to be greeted into the kitchen. So this is going to be beautiful quartz countertop, amazing island nice shaker cabinets with the soft clothes, nice bohemian light fixtures and design throughout this whole entire property. We're gonna have all these appliances coming with the home as well, general electric, stove, microwave, dishwasher, fridge. Now, one cool thing is typically with new homes, we're gonna be seeing sinks being in the island. With this home, it's gonna be a little bit different where he actually set the farmhouse sink overlooking the north side of the property. So you're gonna be right here, washing your hands, washing the dishes, whatever it is, and you're gonna be able to have a nice, beautiful view out into your piece of land. Now, another feature about this kitchen is you're gonna have plenty of cabinet space. So if you're somebody who really likes to store a lot of food, plates, uh, you know, all of the above, you're gonna have plenty of space for it. Right over here next to the fridge, we're gonna have our pantry space. And now, Let's go ahead, let's step into the primary bedroom. So stepping into the primary bedroom, first thing, we're gonna have this beautiful double window facing the south side of the property. You're gonna have this really nice space. This is a king size bed, just to give you a perspective on the size of this bedroom. Right over here, you have your dresser, be able to uh, put a TV up here or a piece of art if you're not somebody who likes to have a TV in the bedroom. Over here, you're gonna have your nightstands next door. And I love the design this builder did, just so it gives you a good perspective on the size of the bedroom and you know what the design could look like in a home like this. Now, let's go into the master bath. Now, once you step in here, it is truly incredible because this is something you really don't see in today's day. This is something new that's becoming super popular in the world of new construction is having the doorless shower. So the way they do this is here you're gonna have your handles, here you're gonna have your shower heads and it's kind of tilted downwards a little so it's going towards the drainage. So you could be taking a shower from here to here and you're not gonna get any area outside of these black tiles wet. Another cool thing is right here, you're gonna have your tub with the graded window uh, facing the north side of the property. I love the tub. I like the little stand here that they put. You can have your candles, maybe a little bit of music, have some peanuts, some snacks, whatever it is, whatever you like to do. So right over here, we are gonna have our closet space, my friends. We're gonna continue with this Subway ceramic tile. This is a really big, closet as you can see plenty of space to hang all your clothes shoes etc then right next door we are going to have our private toilet someone can be using the double sink the shower and you kind of have your own private space handle your business and then right over here we're going to have our double sink nice mirrors light fixture in between shaker cabinets down below and just take a look at this light fixture real quick that we got in here this nice chandelier really unique boom now let's go ahead and get to the other side of the house.
Now continuing into this next side of the property, right over here, we're gonna have our next two bedrooms. So let's step in here first. So right here, we're gonna have that continued ceramic subway tiles. This room is gonna be about 12 by 11 feet, just to give you a perspective on the size. Nice window facing the south side of the home. And this is gonna be coming with its own walk-in closet as well. Now going across the hall, we're gonna have the similar dimensions. Only difference is you're gonna have the window facing the north side of the property, and you're also gonna have the same walk-in closet. Now, right in between the garage and these rooms, we're gonna have our laundry room. Here, you're gonna have a nice countertop with the same quartz, nice storage space right above. And then right over here, you're gonna have your General Electric washer and dryer coming with the home as well. Here's gonna be your AC system carrier. The all your mechanical things, so the washer, dryer, fridge, AC, this is gonna have a two year mechanical warranty and the house is gonna give you a 10 year structural warranty. Now, right over here, we're gonna have the second bathroom of the home. Got your nice sink, mirror, quartz countertop, shaker cabinets, toilet, tub, backsplash, you got it all. Now, let's go ahead, get into the three car garage and something really neat is you're gonna have irrigation coming with the property. Garage door openers for both of the garage, the two car and the one car garage. And you got plenty of space here. You know, I see a lot of people get creative with the space that they get in their properties. Like you can have the two car garage, maybe park a few cars outside if you have a big family or like to store cars. And then over here, you can kind of have like create a little bit of a workshop. So it's something really popular these days that people have been implementing into their homes. So with that being said, let's go ahead, let's take a look at the lot, my friends, and see where exactly is the 1.44 acres. Now stepping outside, we are go right into this covered lanai back patio space. And this is really just beautiful, it's peaceful. As soon as you walk out here, you can just hear the birds, you can hear the wind, you can hear nature, literally. Now this home does come with 1.44 acres of land. The reason you're probably seeing that some of the house is sodded, some of it is still sand. Here in Ocala, the builders are not required to sod the whole entire property. And there are a lot of people who prefer to kind of maybe put turf out here, or do something different, plant some trees, create a garden. But if there is somebody who is interested in a property like this and you do want it sodded, that's exactly what a realtor is here to do. It's We're here to negotiate. So before closing, we write it in the contract that they need to sod the property in full. Now, 1.44 acres, my friends, all of this land going pretty deep into there is going to be yours. So if you want to, you can clear this land. You can really utilize it as you wish. Me personally, I like when the trees are surrounding the home. I like being just surrounded by nature, kind of nestled in the woods. And even at the front of the property, when they have that, they kept the trees at the front of the property, it gives it a little bit of even more privacy from somebody driving down the road. For me, that's something I like, but obviously there's so many different people that have so many different ideas. Like if you wanted to build a literal resort style pool, break down, put down some of these trees, you can do so. You can put a basketball court, you can put a mini soccer field, whatever your heart desires, you can put it back here, create a nice barn shed, barn dominium. And yeah, so there's a lot of opportunity here. This is Ocala, my friends, properties with land. And it's not just this one, you know, if you like this, you're interested in a new construction home with land, maybe this isn't exactly it. You know, feel free to schedule an appointment with our team on themontiutigroup.com. It's gonna be in the description below if you don't know how to spell Montiuti. And we'll be able to help you get an appointment with me or some trusted agent on my team. And we'll be able to help find exactly what you, you are looking for. So let's get back inside, talk some numbers and have some fun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get into all the nitty gritty, fun, beautiful details about this property. So first and foremost, the price of this property. This property is currently listed at $450,000 with the sellers being motivated as per the MLS. So whenever someone says seller motivated, 
I think you guys know what that means. They're motivated to sell, so they're willing to maybe take a deal. With that being said, so $450,000 for this property with 1.44 acres of land. Very incredible. Something that you don't really see, just to give you a perspective, about a quarter acre in Marion Oaks is worth about twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. So if you just do the math on that, let's just say you're buying, you know, an acre, okay, at twenty-five thousand dollars a quarter acre, you're looking at a hundred thousand just for the acre. So if you're kind of just doing the math there, you're almost paying one hundred and twenty, one hundred and forty thousand for almost one and a half acres of land. Now I think, you know, if you know the right people, you contact the sellers directly, you can get good deals. And that's typically what builders like to do. They try and contact people off market. But anyways, now back to this home, the estimated taxes on this home will be around $4,500 per year. And that is before paying any Florida homestead tax exemption. Florida homestead tax exemption, what it means is if you live in this property, if you're a Florida resident, you get to deduct up to $50,000 off the taxable value of your home. So with that being said, it's gonna, instead of paying taxes on a $450,000 home, you're gonna pay taxes on a $400,000 home. Here in Florida, another big benefit is we have no state income tax. So if you are coming with your pension, with your 401k, you're not gonna get taxed on, or the state's not gonna tax you on that income coming in. So it's another benefit of here in Florida. There is no HOA, there is no CDD. This is in flood zone X. For anybody who's not aware of you know the different flood zones here in florida flood zone x means you're in a 500 year flood plain pretty much meaning for the next 500 years you have point zero less than 0 0.001 chance of flooding per year really low really low chances of flooding also what a lot of these builders do is they grade the property so Let's just say however the property is, if it's maybe a little sloped, a little hilly, they're always gonna elevate the home just a little bit higher. So if the property is like this, they will always put the home right there. So whenever there is excess rain here in Florida, it'll drain away. Typically the ground can either absorb it or our drainage systems work really well. But let's just say we have a massive hurricane then where we have the most rain ever, like the one we had two years ago. You know, it's gonna, we're still gonna be able to sustain that with no issues at all. Now, speaking on that as well, you know, hurricane, here in Florida, we do have hurricanes. I'm 26 years old. I've lived in Florida my whole life. I travel a lot, but I, I've lived here my whole life. And I've experienced every single hurricane that's came through the state of Florida. I'm still alive, I'm still healthy. So if you are someone from out of state and you're always curious about hurricanes, hurricanes are something kind of just normal to us Floridians, you know, not to say we get excited for them, but it's like, okay, you know, we're actually gonna get a day to relax. We're gonna get a day or two off of work. We're gonna spend it with our family. We're gonna have some good food. We're gonna play some board games because there's not really too much threat unless you're within like 10 to 20, 30 miles of the coast. That's where you'll see a, a little bit more threat if you're getting a direct hit on the eye of the hurricane. Here in Central Florida, it's not as substantial. South Florida is a different story because you're kind of just more prone to hurricanes hitting you down in South Florida. And that's where you're seeing a lot of the high insurance rates. Here in Central Florida, on the home like this, you'll probably pay around $900 to $1,100 per year on your yearly insurance. Uh, here in Ocala, I've seen new construction homes, you know, that sold for $270,000. They have insurance quotes for $450 to $600 per year. And that's for full coverage. So here in Ocala, it's relatively safe. We're a little further north and we're really safe from hurricanes here in Ocala. Now, going on to the next things, if there is anyone interested in buying a property, if there is someone interested, you know, hey, I, I wanna see what I can do. What you can do is reach out to our team, themontiutigroup.com, or call our phone number. Both of those options work. If you go to our website, we have a landing page, you answer a few questions and then we'll contact you. Or you could take the initiative, call us right now. It, on the weekends, late in the evening, sometimes we might not pick up. Just leave a voicemail, text us, and we'll get back to you. We work on Sundays as well. Now, the next thing I wanna talk to you guys about is what does a down payment on a property like this look like? So if you are a first-time home buyer, you actually can qualify with an FHA loan on this property. The FHA loan limit actually just went up to 430,000. The minimum down payment is about three and a half percent, or it is three and a half percent. So let's 
just go ahead and say, you know, you're putting three and a half percent on a $450,000 home. That's only a down payment of $15,750, okay? There's not only down payment, but there's also closing costs. Closing costs are always three to 4% of the purchase price of the home. So let's just add another 15, 16,000 to that. And then to qualify for FHA, you need a minimum of a 600 credit score at this moment in time. Now, really quick, closing costs. Closing costs are three to 4% of the purchase price, but that's exactly why you should make sure you're hiring the right realtors. Doesn't have to be me. If you're looking to buy some in the, another state, if you're in another country, whatever it is, make sure you're talking to your realtors and making sure they know exactly what they're doing. When you wanna buy a house, are they calling the listing agent? Are they asking the right questions? Are they seeing how much competition there is? Are they seeing what kind of deal they can get for you as a buyer? These are important things that any realtor you hire should be doing for you every single time you go to a property or have interest in one, they should be representing you, telling you what to do, what not to do. And also if you are going into a property with risks, they need to be explaining you the risks involved before you make a final decision. So it's very important, you know, when you're buying a house to be with the right team, with the right people. Back to the point, closing costs. My team and I, we focus on being very aggressive and getting the best deals for each and every one of our clients, buyers and sellers not just on the buyer side, on the seller side as well. We do have a lot of listings right now here in the Central Florida area and making sure that we're doing the most that we can for homeowners to capitalize on their equity. And then on the buyer side, we get just as aggressive, you know, uh, to try and get your closing costs covered. If you're looking at a conventional loan, the down payments, it's gonna be about 5% of the purchase price of the home. That's gonna be $22,500 on a property like this. And then if you're looking at a VA loan, you can go with 0% down. Now for any veteran out there i respect you guys so much i appreciate you guys everything you've done for us also active military also first responders you guys are incredible thank you for all the sacrifices you guys make and i'm here to help you guys buy a property as well if your dream is buying a property i really want to make sure that our team and i can help you so you can utilize a va loan zero percent down and then I can give a guarantee that our team is gonna get your co closing costs covered by the builder, the seller, whoever it is. And if there is a small difference uh, in closing costs, I'm gonna cover it with my commission. That's something that we pledge to all of our veterans and active military. With that, my friends, uh, if I were to give you guys a recommended offer, so walking through this property with everything included, if, if I was going in cash, I would offer like straight up 390 right off the bat. See what they say, probably won't stick. They're probably looking for around 410 to 430 at the final sale price on this property. So I'd start at 390, try and even get them at 400 if I was going in cash. If I was financing, I'd stay relatively close to, I would stay relatively close to asking. You know, I'd stay around 435, 440, but I would ask for 4% in closing costs so that you can cover all your closing costs and then use maybe an extra half a percent or a percent to buy down your interest rate points. Right now, interest rates are around seven and a half to 8%. So getting that extra closing cost credit from the sellers is really important so you can buy down your interest rate, make your uh, monthly payment a little bit more affordable for you guys. So that's my recommended offer. And now I wanna get into a special message. So if there's anyone new and you're listening, this is your first special message that you're hearing from me. I've been, uh, it kind of just happened. One video, I was just like, okay, let's, let's, I just wanted to get something off my chest. It was something a little bit personal and we got a lot of good feedback. A lot of people benefited from it and a lot of people are sharing their stories on the comment section and it's, it's something beautiful to see. But anyways, I, I'm just giving a little personal message of self growth, of motivation, whatever you wanna call it, that I've experienced through my life. So everything I tell you is things I've experienced, things that I've lived through, things that, that have touched my heart and I've learned and grown from. So today, my special message was pretty simple. And the special message is whatever negative or positive emotions that we are feeling, we should be writing them down. You know, so if you, let's just say you had a really long day and a bunch of things went well, and then a few things went wrong. 
you want to write those things down at the end of the day and if you're anything like me i'm somebody who really i have a ton of ideas and literally my brain is like da, 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 all over the place sometimes i have a ton of ideas but i can't really keep myself concentrated on one so what i started to do is i started to write them down and then later in the future when i have time i look back at my notebook and i look at it at a deeper way as to why i was thinking it in that moment but getting back to the point you know writing down what you're feeling writing down the things you want to accomplish writing down anything that you have on your mind that you feel like you, you can't really put it into something physical start writing it down because it becomes real when you write it down and then you can reread it in in the future and you're gonna be like damn you know what i've actually grown so much since that moment so it's it's kind of like setting a timeline for yourself and also putting what's in your mind into your physical reality you know being able to understand those things that in a better way there's one thing that's become really popular that therapists have recommended to people is you write down whatever you're feeling like whatever you're going through some hard stuff you write down a whole piece of paper and then you throw it in the fire i actually did that with a lot of my friends the very first day of this year and i remember what i wrote on that piece of paper and it was it was a moment of like okay this is something i've been struggling with for a very long time i need to get rid of it and some of those things still kind of linger but some of those things have actually went away. And that was the very first of this year. It's kind of when I started this YouTube journey in English with you guys, and there's been a drastic change. So if there's anything I can recommend, if you get anything out of this special message is write down what you're thinking, write down what you're feeling, and just really read it and understand what you're saying and then try and grow from it. Because once you write it down, there's a different energy and power that you put into it that you're able to understand it a little bit better. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this home tour. If there is anybody out there who is really interested in this specific property, feel free to reach out to our team, call us, email us, go to our landing page on the montucigroup.com. And that is it. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.